Then we're going to add a reset progress bar. Private void reset progress bar. Progress bar dot value equals progress bar dot minimum. And lastly, we will put the move progress bar function into the load event. In part three, we're going to create the thread and method invoker delegate variables. And what method invoker is, is just a simple delegate that is used to invoke a method with a void per parameter list. And you really use that when you don't want to, de to define your own uh, de uh, delegates. And then we're going to create the, the progress bar delegates using method invoker. We're going to create a thread safe move pro progress bar method. We're, we're going to create the grid view population delegate using method invoker. We're going to create a thread safe method to populate the grid view. And we're going to create the thread objects for the progress bar and grid view. And then lastly, we're going to create a button click method to stop and start the threads. So let's create our thread and our method invokers. Private thread p thread SQL thread. Method invoker. And so what method invoker is, is it just provides a simple delegate that is used to, in, to invoke a method. Uh, you, you use it when you don't want to or don't need to define your own delegates. So prog bar delegate. So prog bar delegate reset and run SQL delegate. And, the, and let's create our our lock variables. I'm going to call them private string lock pb4 And so, what, and so will we will we use these uh, with our monitor enter and monitor exit uh, function call, and they're basically used to lock a section of code that that you don't that you only want one thread to be running at a time. Now we're going to go create an an instance of our delegates in the page in the form load method. We do that by prog bar delegate equal new method invoker passing it what we want it to do progress bar uh, perform step and then prog bar reset equal new method invoker reset progress bar so let's go make our move progress bar method thread safe. So first we're going to do monitor enter dot enter using our progress bar And within this, if progress bar dot invoke required, and so basically the thread which created this form is the only thread that can be used to process things with within the form, and so we need to make sure that that that, that, that happens, and we we do that by calling the invoke required. Invoke, and we'll run our prog delegate, prog bar delegate. No 
Genau. If it doesn't need to be invoked, then we will just call it directly. Lastly, if the progress bar dot invoke required, invoke the prog bar reset. So we will, we will, we will reset it once every hour. Else, we will just reset it and call the function directly. And then to the monitor dot exit. So let's create an instance of our populate grid view delegate. So we're gonna call it run equals new method invoker, and we're going to pass it populate grid views. So now in a similar way that we created our move progress bar function that is going to invoke these thread safe uh, progress bar functions, we're, going to, we're, we're also going to create a method that is going to run the run SQL delegate that will run the, the populate grid view of thread safely. So we'll create a method called private void check for new company. So we're going to run this eight times. I need the monitor enter. Pass it to log. SQL variable. I'm going to invoke this delegate. Monitor.exit. And then we're going to sleep. And we and we want it to sleep for about an hour. So it's going to run eight times once per hour. 